Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Darla Lucian of Darla Lucian Studios. Hi! And today we are doing Fun Friday and we have lots on the agenda for today. We of course have our guest artist here, Rachel Lucian. Hello! She's, she's going to help us out and we are going to be playing with, I bet you figured it out already, stencils! Yay! But before we get started, I want you to hit the like button. <laughs> and hit subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> yes, yeah, subscribe, hit the bell, comment. We like to hear what you're up to and share. Share with other crafty people. Now, Rachel, do you want to explain a little bit about that one? So this that I made, this wonderful creation of the little monkey. <laughs> um, if you remember the last video, we did the backgrounds and stuff. So I used one of the backgrounds I did. It looks pretty cool. And it goes well with the black uh, that I picked on the monkey. And um, and explain how you drew the monkey. So how I drew the monkey was from stencils. So today we're going to talk about stencils. I love the ink too. <laughs> Apparently we're going to... Oh, I forgot, I forgot to pick up like. Alright, so before we get uh, going too much on it, I'm, I'm sure you guys have tons of stencils. Because, you know, when we... Oh, <laughs> you okay? This thing doesn't want to move. Yeah. Oh, you're stuck. There we go. It's hitting the wall. I didn't yeah. want it to. <laughs> you just had oh. technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, so if you're like anything like me, you have tons of all different kinds of stencils. This one was uh, for, to do, I got this from somebody I, given to me. It's to do wall stenciling. And these ones were from crafting. They're quite pretty brass oh, ones. Yes. These ones we just got these yeah. this set. These this is like we got this like what two days ago? Something like that. Yay, Amazon. <laughs> and it then feels of course funny. because we have kids in the house, we have animal stencils, which is what Rachel used. So if you can't tell what hang on a sec, okay? Uh -huh. Let me just uh, do this part, okay? And then you can do some explanation in a minute. Alright, so I just wanted to show you that. So I'm sorry, but it's going to kind of come up close for a sec. So this is my binder that I use for stencils, and I just kind of wanted to show you how I store them in here. So I have my, you know, everyday use ones like the ovals and the circles uh, right at the front because I use them for so many things, and I, I'm sure you've seen me use them in different videos and so on. And then I have, these are pocket protector pages with a piece of cardstock in, just plain white cardstock. But look how great it is to Ooh, show, me. oh bless you, to show exactly what your stencil is. So I put in, you know, a few of the smaller stencils Ooh, or uh, ones that are the same, kind of get jammed together. This one has, as a stencil, it has its own three ring binder clip, so that one went in. I've used this one before. Yeah. But I even have like my alphabet stencils and all different kinds of things in here. Anyway, so we're going to put this behind us so that we can have it as kind of a quick draw, but I do want this one out because... I want to use this one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm putting it right here, Rachel, so we can both kind of okay. reach it. All right, Owen. Oh, I can kind of. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need this one. So I'm going to put that away. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a variety of stenciling. And I just did some examples here. So this one I is on one. coffee dye with ink. Um, just dabbed on, and it turned out pretty great, I think. I love this one because it has like a shadow. Yeah, it has that kind of thing. But you can do more with stencils. You can use it and get bolder patterns. This is just used with washable markers, and you just follow the patterns, and you can get all sorts of interesting things happening. This was a repeat pattern, so I think I repeated it four times, just, to, you know, not completely four times, but just to get it to go right across the page. And that would look kind of neat in a journal, you know, when you have it folded in half. Right? And then it would be on both sides. I think that's kind of cool. Look at how the bubbles turned out. I love those. That one's kind of fun too. So I'm just showing you that you can use um, ink, you can use marker. We're not going to use paint today, but you could use paint on here as well. And uh, also, I want to use that texture paste. So we're going to see about using also that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pardon me. I'm not sure where that came from. Honestly, I hate all the time, so that's kind of unusual for me. All right, Rachel, let's get started. So, you might not be able to tell, but this is a giraffe, and I made a giraffe 
and I did all the inside, and I looked up on a giraffe. Um, on the computer. On the computer. And they don't really have much on the tip, so I just left it open. So, okay. Sorry about reaching across it here, but it's I want to grab that color, that color. Is there any <laughs> other purples? Uh, I don't know. This is a kind of a purple, that's, I guess? That's magenta. Not, no, that's a red. Kind of pinky red. This is magenta. All right. Is there a purple? That looks like a purple. Oh, and I also want the browns, I think. This looks like a purple. Lovely lilac. Oh yeah, that one's okay. That one comes over and lives with me. <laughs> lives with you. Yeah, I'm gonna But 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 no purple for you. But just kidding. You can borrow it if you want. Hold on for a second. We just I just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rachel, we're gonna need to share the inside space here. So you can put your tools over there. I'll put my tools over here. Okay. So just shove these out of the way. Are you gonna use these animal stencils, or should we put them away so you have space? Uh, yeah. Space. Do you have scissors just for, you know? Behind. Okay. All right. You. Everything moved behind so that we can both sit up to the desk. You know how that goes. All right. So I am going to try decorating a few other little things. So here are some envelopes that I, or not envelopes, but uh, pockets that I've made. Just, uh, these are out of coffee paper and this is out of coffee dyed coffee paper. So let's give this a try. I am curious to see how this goes. Where's the trash? I don't know where to find the trash. <laughs> I know everything's moved when we're uh, crafting together, right? Remember the um, in uh, what is it called? Toy Story Four, or whatever. There's this little Forky. He's like oh, trash. Forky. Forky. Trash. All right. So I am just going oh, to. Is this this? Is it this? Uh, that's close enough. I'm not as worried about matchy matching as long as it's sort of in the same color range. Ooh, All right, let's see what happened here. Ooh, what do you think, Rachel? Ooh, I like that. that turned out okay. All right, so then I'm gonna try this is a, very a, a deeper shade of purple on the upper part. Well, first, make her look alive, alive. So I'm not worried about getting it on the edges because I'm actually gonna. Out. Yeah, and remember that you. Oh, sorry. That you need to work at the top because they can't see all the way down to the bottom, right? Yep. There we go. Let's try this darker shade. She looks like she's bleeding, but she's not. <laughs> In a sense. What color are giraffes anyway? I forget. Uh, they're yellow? like a. Uh, they're sort of yellow, and they have brown dots. Oh. So I'm brown gonna patches. mimic that, but I'm gonna have like a pink background for her. Oh, I see. And I'm gonna have like. Pink body as well because I love pink. Like if you like pink. <laughs> yeah, hit like if you like pink. Well, I'm really happy with how that looks. Um, well, I can't express words. Yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you have like the dark purple, and then you have oops, and then you have the light lighter purple. All right. So what if we put a little bit of this too? Oh yes, yeah, so and this means I have to get up and grab the uh, brown <coughs> marker. <coughs> I don't have any brown in here. Mm -hmm. I used it all up. Brown is, I guess, my most used color. Okay. Alright, so we're going to try some of this coca, which is a little bit lighter shade. She's going to be beautiful when she's done. Actually, what would happen if I just use my ink spot straight down like I like to do? How does that look? Hmm. I'm not sure I'm as thrilled with that. I liked it better the way I had it before. Oh, oh, well. Right back, I'm gonna go grab brown. Okay, I'm gonna slide up a little. So <laughs> can you get behind me? Yes. All right. So Woo I am we're all going, good. <laughs> I am going to give this a little bit of inking because I did not like how that turned out. It seemed too stark, so I'm just gonna soften it a little by adding this in. Grab my trusty brown. Good. So. <sighs> You know, in crafting, there's no mistakes. There's just opportunity for more creativity, right? So I'm going to give this a little ink up here as well without a pattern and just see what we think. I, I like how that turned out now. I'm much happier with that. And that'll allow for putting a focal point in the center here. Mm. I think that's good. That'll be great in our purple projects. So we'll add that to the purple projects box now. That it's nowhere handy, so that's super. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. There it is. Come 
to mama. Okay. Well, you are the mama in the house, technically speaking. <laughs> There's no technically about it. I just am. I am. You, you, you just are the mama. All right. So, let's see. What one do we want to do next? Do we want to do this one again? Look, I had a heart here. Did you notice that? Oh, that's cute. Because in some drafts, they have hearts. If you look up on drafts on Google, that's right. They sometimes have hearts in there in their patterns, which is cute. Okay, I'm going to actually try to repeat what I did with that first one. Look how it's just turning out. But without see? putting the cocoa. Oh yeah, I really like how that's turning out. That's looking great. So this is Stampin' Up! And I forget which one this one is. Lovely Lilac, maybe? Yeah, that's, it's called and then Lovely Lilac. This one is Orchid Opulence. I don't know if they still have these colors. Um, it was just... I grabbed a set. I pro you probably heard me before if you've been on my channel about how wonderful it is to just grab the inch spots and then you can really try out some colors without making a huge commitment to a huge ink pad. Because what if you hate the color, right? So we're going to spend a lot of time inking and drawing mm, I'm and drawing most of the time right now. And we'll do uh, it quick. So if, if you've got some stuff, you know, grab grab some stuff and come along with us for the journey. For the journey. You know, we'd love to hear what you're doing. So let us know um, in the comments below. Definitely talk to us about uh, kind of how you use stencils. Do you use it in your crafting? Or do you use it in your everyday life to I'm make things look pretty? So pretty. Kind of just doing a little bit of a different shape with this one this time. You could be very crafty. You could do what I'm doing or something like that if you really wanted. Because they can and Margaret actually go well together. You know this. Yeah, they really do. Yeah, one is kind of more blended and the other one's sharper. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna leave that one like that. But you know what? What if I ink the edges with the purple? Yep, that's a good call. <laughs> Liking that. Mama is always the lover of that colors. <laughs> I love pink colors because they're they like show up, but they're like in the background kind of to me. Even when they're in the background, they show up. Is that what you're trying yep. to say? Yeah. They're pretty great. All right. So now that I'm getting to the thumb hole, I'm just gonna pull it open, and then I'm just gonna. I'm going to come here too to give it a little definition, see how that stands out now. All right, another one for the bucket. Perfect. All right, so let's do this last one. This last one I think we're going to go to browns and have some fun with that. And I think, hmm, I'm going to give this a little bit of a rub because I feel like it's going to go a little bit quicker here. Yeah, and you know what, I'm going to give this one a rub too. Oops, that's not wreck it. If we're going to slow, can you do like a part two? Because <laughs> I'll be only like finished one and you'll be like finished 20. Well, you know, it's the choices that we make. And you can go fast or you can go slow. It just depends on what it is that you're working on and what you want to do with it, right? So I'm just going to kind of put this over top of the whole thing and just see what we do here. So this one already has a bit of a pattern because it has the lace in the coffee dye. Yeah. So I don't want to do too, too much, but I kind of just want to give it a little pop of color. And then let's do the inking around because you Did know Did you say pop of color? Pop of color. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so then, you know, like it really won't need very much. Maybe a stamp, maybe a label, maybe like a vellum flower or something. And, uh, or even one of my cutout images from collaging, and this will be done. It's, it's fun how the, you know, layer on layer uh, really builds up kind of a really nice aesthetic. Aesthetic. How it looks. Mm -hmm. Sort of the mood of it. All right. Perfect. Another one to the bucket. <laughs> Marvelous. Look at this, Mama. You guys are so great to help me. Oh, is that ever coming nicely? Well, Colin, are you going to do the hoops on it? Um, I'm actually going to try to do that one 
out. <laughs> I, I'm just following my heart as I go. Oh, well, I like following my heart. Okay, so then I have these. And these, I, I wasn't sure if I'm going to make them into pockets, where I would glue them down like that, or journaling cards, which would go in the pockets. But I do know that I want to cover some of the, like, the writing with stenciling. So let's just see, grab a different stencil, because I kind of Freak. use those ones. Ooh, what if, let's try the bubble one. I'm kind of into trying some new things today. I'm kind of going, I don't know why, I'm kind of going for this beautiful color. For Which this color? Moves. This bright pink. This color for the Oh, colors. yeah. That's pretty. All right, we're uh, definitely gonna have to wash my desk after this. Oh uh, yeah, because I'm like gonna get some on the table. Yeah, me too. That's what it is. Okay, I already I'm got gonna, some. I'm not gonna use this brown. So this this ink is coffee bean, but then I've re-inked it with a distress ink ground espresso. So it's kind of half and half right now, I think. Um, let's do. This is Color Box Mini. It's a violet. So let's give this one a try. I'm going to uber slow on this because I don't want to mess this part up. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad that you're doing that like that. That's what we want. You know what? I shouldn't have this under my other hand. That doesn't work so good. Let's try it there. You know what? I might actually have like a blank paper or I just will just re-ink her because like you can kind of like see the... Ah, uh, yes. And the cut edge will be more white again. So you might want to just re -ink. Well, I'm having fun with these new stencils, I have to say. I dropped the giraffe. Oops. How can you drop a giraffe when it's so heavy? I dropped like a newborn giraffe. Kaplop. <laughs> Kaplop? Kerplop. Yeah, who said that? You. I can't. No, it was from a Disney movie. Oh. Dropped like a newborn giraffe. Oh, from, uh, from the, uh, Tarzan. The, the monkey or whatever. The ape oh, says yeah. it, remember? All right, so I'm just going to clean this off because this one is kind of a sticky sort of ink. And I'm going to use my, I'm just going to use a brush with some water and give it a little quick wash. Give that a wash. And then let's wash this side too. Yeah, so the marker that was on there was just washable marker, so that comes up pretty easy. I mean, you can leave it on, it wouldn't matter so much, but I was just worried about it getting smeared underneath is what I felt like happened. And I don't want to necessarily have a smudge on my next one. I want to have a stencil. I want to have a crisper image. So how much fun does that look, Rachel? Check what I did. I would love that. Isn't that cool? I'm like really focused over Yeah, I see that you're really focused over there, and now I'm distracting you. Another one for the bucket. Yay! <laughs> I feel like you're going to do like 19. Oh, that's cool. I haven't been that's counting. Four. You guys would like to count. I what? don't know how to count. <laughs> you don't know how to count with the count? Yeah, with how many you're doing. <laughs> Alright, let's try. This is just a triangle pocket for the side. Leave a comment if you know how many she's done. <laughs> make a guess, eh? Yeah, make a guess. I am just flying. You know, these stencils add such a nice layer of texture that when I go to decorate on these, it's just going to come together so quickly. Which is what I was looking for. I really wanted to get some background type stencils and rather than foreground stencils this time. So like the animals, for example, would be more of a foreground stencil because they are a focal point. Lovely. Another one bites the dust. Okay, let's give this a little wipey wipe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, her head. <laughs> her head is ginormous. So wow. I'm working on ones for uh, more than one journal. So I am going to just kind of do a similar thing for for both Perfect. so that they can all have Time some to these, ink on the page. So they can all have these hey, wonderful hey. patterns. We're going to make her beautiful again. Mm -hmm. She's going to be flawless. You're going to give her a name? I feel like she needs a name. Honestly, I would have, I honestly would have called her Pink Poodle, but she's not a poodle. <laughs> There's some irony. That's pretty tall for a poodle. Alright, 
I wonder if I give it just a little bit more depth of color. If you're like side. me and you feel something cute, you just want to like touch it and squeeze it. I I like doing that. Yeah, I can hear like. Thong, 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 thong. I know. I hope we're not shaking it too badly up there. I feel like we might be a bit. All right. So this one has a little bit of a variegated. I mean, you can even. A little bit of a variegated color there. Mm. I Where is the wet spot on here? It's starting to get dry. Yeah, it's good. That uh, let's just give us a little bit more. I also did my nails yesterday, but I did dishes, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my world job. <laughs> I can't seem to keep nail polish on to save my life. Everybody oh, else who I see doing videos has such pretty nails, and if I start putting nail polish on and taking it off all the time, my nails um, go on strike. <laughs> All right, so I've kind of done a little bit with that one, so let's see if there's a different one now. Or you know what? I haven't done purple with this one. Maybe I should try that. But let's just give this I one am so time. smart, I'm going to do this. Sorry, I'm taking over here again. Let's wipe this one off. We are going to be so inky when we're done with this. Look at that. Oh, it's looking so cute. Now, where's, where's that pink again? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and now we're going to just dab, 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 dab. Uh, when, you're, when I'm done, Mom, could you, like, wipe this spot? Because, um, it's, like, pink, pink. Yeah, I see it is. Okay, let me just <laughs> yeah, exactly. give it a little water. A little wipey wipe. Do some down there. I see some. There we go. Yay, we got a clean spot. I got spot. some more water on here so I can clean this off easier. All right. That okay. rag is going to be needing to be going to wash after this. All right. I want, uh, do you have like, um, cardstock? Yep. But where? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Right here. Right. So handy, actually. I'm gonna put this up there because this is taking out. There you go, kid. Right. Yay. Now, what we're going to do. Oh, see. shoot. Mine moved. Oh, sorry. Well, I think I got it back to where it was. Now, I kind of want to use uh, that stuff there. For the texture this. paste? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you know what, before we, this is homemade texture paste, mm -hmm. and if you haven't seen me use it, I do have a video, um, it's a Monday video. Okay, let me just scrape the edge here so that we don't get the dry chunks into how high is she? Ah, I know how high she is. Yeah, that would look good. I want kind of like a purple color of the taste. Oh, okay, this texture is paste. very, very thick now. It's gotten thicker over time, I think, but this is not a completely sealed. Wow. Wow, hear that. It's got a weird sound, all right. So, this um, is homemade texture paste. I just need to work it up a little. Okay, okay. Rachel, otherwise you're going to break your stick off in here. I'm not even kidding. Oh, gosh. So, Smith. we're just using tongue depressors to apply it because uh, then we can just throw them out after. So, this. Uh, this recipe and everything is on my video for the texture paste video. Look for it under my Monday videos when I try new things. All right, Rachel, see if you can use that. Remember that you have to scrape oh. it kind of smooth. Okay. And I told you it's really thick, right? Like scrape it. Yeah, and then use Ooh, the edge. Them. Use the edge like this and scrape really hard. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then we have to wash the stencil right away. Doesn't dry on there. Ooh, you can kind of see it too. This is. I so love that you're giving that a try. This is so much fun. I, I want to try that one too. Maybe on here. Yeah, I just need to use this good pocket that way. I just need to use this once more. That looks cool. But what if we did texture paste, right? 
<laughs> exactly. I'm going to get myself texture paste. I am going to put a piece right underneath where I'm working too so that it doesn't, so it doesn't come off onto the desk. Oh. I might as well use this. I want to use the same stencil as you guys. Okay. You have I need to use this once this. more. All right. I need to use it one more time. Because it's so high. Oh, that looks so cool, Rachel. Let's turn it, turn it around so that you don't work over top of what's already wet. Okay? Oh, that looks awesome. I'm a fan. There you go. Take two. Take two. Take a big blob. Place in the smush. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. And it looks like we probably need to use this texture piece up pretty quick, so in the next couple weeks before it dries right out. I might need to find a different container for it. Maybe one that could be more sealed. Yes, exactly that. Hmm. Now that we know this works. Leave in a comment um, which one. How do you store your texture paste? If you have some. What's one of the best ways to do it? Because I don't want to get it on the table. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Alright, so you scrape up instead of scraping down. Go to the middle here, and then up, and scrape it off. Okay, that's not working so good. I need some hair. I forgot okay. right there. Hang on, hang on. I'm just trying to get so it's not Should so good. Should we use a new tooth? The what toothpick? A new tongue depressor. This one's disastrous already. <laughs> yeah, I kind of um, I got some on the table. Yeah, it's okay. That's a tiny little bit, and we can always wipe it up. Okay, we're just going to try to keep as much as we can in there. We are going to try new things, try new things. <laughs> I'm excited with how yours is turning out. I can't wait to try it myself. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm actually excited to see how yours turns out, honestly. Oops, and again. All right. There you go. Thank you. So... Oh, that looks cool. I don't know how you're going to grab that. There you go. Do you need to wipe yourself? Yeah. And of course it's already dry. That's okay. Just use a little water from here. Oh. Just dip your finger in. Or fingers. Or fingers. And you can use your wet little fingers to wipe this part too if you want. Okay. <laughs> I am going to just grab some of this stuff from the side. I kind of need that stuff. Oh, okay. Sorry. <gasps> Here, can I put it on your side then? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna move, move this draft because this needs to dry. And so it doesn't get smeared because oh my gosh, that turned out so good. Alright. I am gonna be happy with how mine turns out, but I'm excited to see yours. Alright, well let's the see. drum roll, please. I'm not planning on covering this whole thing. <laughs> Just small part. See me, I could just like behind the scenes. I'm just like dabbing myself with water. There, like that. I like how that turned out. Dab, 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 dab. All right, and now I'm going to take this oh. and the gooey side up. I'm going to flip it over. I love how that turned out, Mom. That looks so good. And I'm going to press it down. Because why not? All right, and. Why waste all this texture paste that's coming off on my hands? Let's just press it down with this, and we can pick up any texture paste on here. That thing is like already a little dry. Oh, there's some coming off. Just, you know, just some. Oh, not much came off on there, though. I thought more would come off. All right, well, maybe I will use my fingers and just see what happens. I'm so I guess some of these myself. spots... I'm still wiping myself, wiping my... Why is it doing that thing again? I don't know. Alright, so this one needs to get be washed. Do you think you could just take it to the kitchen and wash it? Into the slop bucket, and then your hands could get washed at the same time. Okay, that's a good idea, but... 
There you go. There I go. There I go again. If you smell it, it has baby powder in it. It does. Lilac scented baby powder or something. Or no, lavender. It's supposed to be for before bed. How are we doing? Still good. Okay, so I'm going to move this one. It can dry. And this guy, obviously, is not going to go in the bucket like that because he needs to dry. But that turned out kind of cool. All right, I'm going to put the texture paste away for now. Ugh. So sticky. All right, I'm hoping that it will go more to the bottom because the stuff that's at the top ended up drying quite brutally. All right. So where can we put that so it doesn't get stuck? Oh, over there. How about that? Under the table to the side. Okay. So now, let's just... Okay, Rachel, just leave it in and soak it. It's not coming off. Texture based, such fun. <laughs> and such a mess. That's all right, okay. So that cleans up our space a little anyway. We'll have to do a bit better job later. Okay, so then there was these ones that I wanted to try. And this one, I think, is going to look nicer with the greens. And what if we do shades of greens? Do we have a... This one kind of has green in it. All right. Now, let's see. What do we want? Maybe that down at the bottom with the darker. This is glorious green. Rachel, it's okay. You can just leave it soak there. In cold water? Not cold. Warm water? All right, and then this is green galore. So it doesn't seem to be as defined. Maybe I'll twist it a little. Let's see if I can get in. Okay. <laughs> all right so twisting seems to be what gets down deep this is a uh, green gable's green gable green Here's twisting the... seems to work <laughs> to get in the corners of this stencil <laughs> let me in <laughs> let me in let me slide in. around so I put your foot in <laughs> so I can slide over thanks all right, what are you going to work on next, sweetheart? We're uh, just, we're, you, we have about enough time for you to try one more project, I think. Do you have like a little thingy that's like a circle? Like the little shawls or whatever they are? I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> doily? Uh, yeah. I am not paper doing doily? paper doilies this time, sorry. Because they are really far away, put away. Um, but you could use an oval. Cut after out an this oval video, shape. could we do another video of the zone? In the zone? Yeah. Possibly. Once you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Um, do you have a little purple paper? Yes, and you can probably see it. I see it from the far distance, and hopefully I can get it. Just hopefully. try not to knock everything over. Yeah. Like right there. Right there, Rachel. What? Are you meaning that purple paper? The plane? Oh. So you can put stamps on? Yeah. Stencils? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly... Okay, that's what I thought. I'm kind of interested to do texture paste on this one, but I kind of want more ink instead because it's like forever. Yeah, like well, a, the texture paste I only want was obviously some time when we really want to. It does that every time. And we really have time to clean up because it is quite messy, apparently. But I'm just going to just straight up. Yeah, you can't do it that way. It doesn't work on the stencils. I tried that earlier. <laughs> what do you do? Where's the little thingy that I can use? Is there um, one for these? I don't think so. Let me just try a different corner, maybe right there. <laughs> yeah. All 
All right, beautiful. so this one has kind of the green This one's horrible. Thing. I like that. Another one Let's for the journal that I'm doing, the purple journals. One. It's purple, but it's lilac, so we have uh, the opportunity to mm. do greens as well. I'm going to get you to move over just a little. Sorry, I just moved you. But... Okay. It's sort of working. I'm not going to say it's working. No. I guess I'm gonna go for the rusty look. The rusty or rustic? Rustic look. Mm hmm. Alright, then I wanted to try this one on a card. Like a journal card. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, with the green, sorry. Boy, that really wants to bounce. <laughs> Bing! Oh, lots of it's rick, uh, ripping off, eh? Hey? What? Like the little crumbs that are coming off of it. Yeah. Okay, let's try orchid opal ones for this one. Then. Doesn't matter if you go over the top. It just matters of how it looks. Mm. Well, I guess it kind of matters then, whatever it was on top. Yeah, well, you can just shake it off into the trash after. But... You don't want them to smear on there because they will all have ink on those little balls. And oh crap, it slipped. Oh, there, I think I've lined it up again. Nope. It's some purple. Okay, now we're going to go for a different color <laughs> after I've gone for blue like a hundred times. So, revisiting old tools in different ways is kind of fun. It's the first time I tried with texture paste. And I haven't tried using markers in a uh, junk journal, like with stencils before, so that might be interesting too. Let's see how this turned out. This has shifted so many times. School oh, it's still, still all right. I don't like how that looks. Now let's just kind of do something with the edge to kind of give it some pink, some fun. I'm just trying to soften how sharp it is from the edge of the stencil. And even in here where it's really white, we can give it a little like that to just bring, bring the two kind of together more. Oh, Rachel, I'm loving your bubbles. It makes me think of the Cinderella movie when she's playing with the bubbles. Uh, when she's working yes. and singing. I'm going for a trick that was like shadowy. So my trick is do heart in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then go lighter at the edges. That's kind of fun. I like your little trick. Okay, I'm going to do another one. This one I'm going to put right in the center. Let's that see. is looking cool. I really like how that's turning out. That's turning out fabulously. Shiffled. Shiffled. <laughs> nice. Nice words. Twisting it does mean you have to hold your stencil very firmly. But... The twisting does seem to get the ink down into some of the tighter corners better. Yeah. And makes a little bit sharper image, which is kind of awesome. And it's not chewing up my, my pad too horribly, which I thought it might, especially this brass one. I thought the brass one might be brutal on it, but it's actually not been too bad. Well, I love how that is turning Oh, out. wow. That's going to be a great page in a journal, I think. Or are you going to use it in a I'm journal? not going to use it. Or you're going to use it. I'm going to use it. Ooh, somebody's going to get a cool picture like that in their journal. That's going to be fun. Well, make sure you do the back side, too, then, so that I can use it as a page in there. Ooh, awesome. look at my hands. You're a rainbow delight. <laughs> Somebody on... Uh, one of the Facebook groups that I belong to showed a picture with ink all over their hands, and I said, oh, it's the universal sign for, hi, I'm a creative. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. Oh, it's beautiful. I love your color choices. They're all so similar to each other, but they kind of blend into each other very nicely. I'm adding like sharp colors of. What do you think of that one? 
Stamping pot. Uh, tempting turquoise. Or tempting that. turquoise, yeah. Oh, it is very tempting. <laughs> what do you think, Rachel? You have to give an opinion of mine, too. Oh, I like that. Part. Don't tap so hard. You're bouncing the camera. Oh, this, by the way. Yeah, just rub more. Yeah, I like how that one turned out. I think I'm going to do one more like that. Maybe a smaller one. Okay, so now part? that I did there, I feel like this spot needs some, some just a little bit. So I'm, just gonna... I'm just changing the angle a little bit to add a different interest to this one. Sorry, table. It has to be done. <laughs> We're going to make everybody seasick. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, everybody. You're going to We're turn so seasick. Canadian. We're so sorry. <laughs> so Canadian. No, lovey. <laughs> <laughs> Lovey dovey. Rachel, sorry. It's so tempting to just. Yeah, because that's what we do normally, right? Mm -hmm. We gotta, <laughs> gotta watch nice. out for our friends, too. Right on your leg. <laughs> well, you didn't leave any bubble stamps, so I guess I got the bottom side, so that's good. Nice. Alright, let's see. The, let's the great reveal. Oh, yep. I'm loving that. <laughs> see how I did it on what the angle this time? Ooh, beautiful. So, do you want to know which colors I used? Yeah, tell me. So, I used this one. Which one's that? What color is it? Turquoise. Tempting, tempting turquoise. Okay. Then I used this one. Uh, Versa color indigo. That's number twenty-seven. And then I used that. So that's a Stampin' Up spot, and it is passion pink. <laughs> pink oh, look passion. at this. <laughs> that is a rainbow uh, sponge there. Oh, some <laughs> of it's coming through, ghosting a little. That tempting turquoise is uh, very. Very, um, um, beautiful. It's a very beautiful color, but it's very, um... What's the word for it? Oh, why can't I think of the word that I'm looking for? Like, the, the ink has got lots of color in it. Grr. You know what I mean. <laughs> It'll make you seasick now. <laughs> no, don't do it, don't do it. We will, we will. I don't know if it's this side that I used. Alright, so I'm just, I'm just continuing to do... Different patterns on... Oh, yeah, it sort of ghosts a little bit more. But that's fine. Yeah, but just keep in mind, if it ghosts a lot to the other side, then it's going to start getting a little chaotic looking. Ooh, lovely. That is lovely. We're only going to do five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, so that we can do other colors. Sorry that I'm making you seasick over there. Mm -hmm. If you are getting bounced, um, I don't know if you are, uh, but it seems like it. Yeah, every time I look up, I feel like the camera's moving. Maybe because you're... Am I doing it? Maybe because we're moving. And we're saying like that. Oh, it's bouncing. Maybe we're not making you seasick. Thank goodness if we're not making you seasick. But if we are, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> what she said, nice. All right, lovely. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Honestly, I feel like taking a, sho a whole shower after this. <laughs> Ooh, I'm loving that one. Uh, yes. I went from kind of lighter, and then I blended because you, I got inspired by you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Is there another? Oh, this needs to be white. I'm using a swirl technique. You go wound. A wound like that. Let's do a seat. Away and go see what else I can find over there. Oh, lovely. Uh, very inked. I'm just going to say that. Now I feel like I need to go watch uh, um, My Fair Lady. All I want is a room somewhere far away from the cool night air. <laughs> Ooh, this pink, though, is turning to purple. I actually love it. Let's try that one. And where's the other one? This one. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, I'm telling you. So I'm going to make it bigger this time. Yeah, you got to scoot over a little. i got to have some elbow room here, too. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> hey! Hee, 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 hee. I'm the brightest child in the world. Wait, what? Bratty child. <laughs> Brat child. 
I like how it kind of like ghosts in between. Yeah, I do too. But okay. ghosting, it's blending. It's it's not ghosting. Ghosting means it shows up Sorry. on the back. I mean blending. It looks like it's like a little bit like smoky a little bit. Okay, where's the spot that I can't tell where I use the teal? <laughs> tempting teal is gone. Your tempting teal has been blended with everything else. Tempting teal. I'm making it. I'm going to rub it this way. So it actually makes it beautiful colors. There we go. Mm. Okay, and another one for the back end. Somebody's going to be very happy with I, this. I worked really hard this week trying to get all these things prepped so that we could get doing this. And... I am very gratified with the fact that once I go to do some of my other videos that I'm going to have all of these ones already done. It's going to be fabulous. Fabulous to tell you. I love this. Whoa, don't get it in the water. Uh, did I get it in the water? I don't think so. I don't think so, but that was close. That was close. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Okay. Oh, I want to clean that up. Okay, now let's get some in here because that looks lovely. I'm just gonna go here. I'm just looking of how or where I should put stuff. Mm. I think this corner is just a little bit tempting to your me. Um, well, what do you think? Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. What? What have you done? Let me flip the other side. You've stolen my heart. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, do you know what we should do? We should put this one in Auntie Jan's journal. She, well, that, because it's the right colors for her. Yeah, so she would she, be watching. Yep. Yeah. So uh, this is not for Auntie. Oh, yeah, we changed our mind. This isn't going in for Auntie Jan yeah. at all. <laughs> I'm going to put down there. <laughs> 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 I wasn't thinking, oh, wow. How of a nightmare did I get this? Um, let me hand you that. <laughs> let me hand you that. Enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? But it's kind of cow pack. Oh, this kind of looks brown. pretty, though. Yeah, it does. I I'm, I'm going to want to use that. that. Yeah, good idea. The, the teal was like... <laughs> <laughs> That's, is that the technical term? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you're sounding like your brother. You can make every sound possible. Is it the I think so. Oops. Oops. Shoot, this shifted. I hate it when it shifts. It's a cow. Moo. Brown, what, do you think, brown cow. what do you think dead texture paste? I am not doing more texture paste on these <laughs> until I know if I can clean off that my favorite one over there. Oh, nuts. That one again. You have a favorite one and it's not me? Uh, yeah, you're not my favorite stencil. What can I say? You're gonna have to live with that. No, I would never live. You are. A Look at child. that. That is like sort of coming off. Yesterday when I was doing dishes, we had this green scrubby, and it came right off. But this is not coming right off. I can tell you that. Well, it's supposed to be. I think most of them, except for maybe this one. Now that I put the distress stuff in it, might not be as washable. But look. Look at my cow. Mm, and your cow. I love it. And I'm hey, this. no. No, what have you done? No. Shh, not so loud. I don't want to yell in their ears. Okay. There we go. I got you myself got a little blue. My, uh, Mom, I think we have yeah. something wrong. My, my thumb is turning blue. So much for being a green thumb, Rachel. Huh? Yeah, because uh -huh. I, I actually... Uh, if you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't know this. I didn't know this either until it started happening. Uh, we have this lettuce, lettuce, and it started blooming flowers, like yellow flowers. So yeah, I, Rachel did a science project where she's trying to start a lettuce plant from the bottom part of a romaine lettuce head, and it sent a shoot up, and it's kind of going off to the side because... I don't know um, if it's weak. But also, where's the, um, rag? Oh, I'm sorry. I totally took it from you, didn't I? Yes, you did! I knew this would happen. You knew this. I knew this day would come. I knew this day she'd forget me in the world. Mmm. It's so sad. I haven't, like, 
I should. Uh, can you hand me a... Oh boy. What do you need? I'm going to need another purple paper because I'm going to use it. I'm going to use one for the giraffe this I time. I am going to let you grab a few purple papers, sweetie, because I want to get 